people? It's the Zim. This is the Zim video. This is my rideshare experience video series. This is number 42. I'm an artist and musician from Seattle, Washington. In 2017, I moved to San Diego. And I was like, I need a job, yo. So I decided to use Lyft as my primary source of income. And this has been my journey. 42 shows of telling you what it's been like. Interesting. It's been an interesting ride. I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks a lot for being a part of it. Um, as I always do, I talk about, um, I give some shout outs, been giving some shout outs to people engaging to the show, new engagers to the show. I also do how much I made. I go into my star rating and I talk about some topics this week. I'm going to talk about, I think I titled this one 24 ride strategy, something like that. Because last week I teased that I'm changing up my own strategy a little bit but i'll tell you more about that also went to the lyft holiday party for drivers i'm gonna tell you about that and show you some pictures and so let's get into it so shout outs robert parker thanks a lot you're the man so let me tell you a little bit about what happened last week robert parker was one of my um, referral drivers and he commented on last week's video i think it was or the last video 40 part 41 maybe um he said hey did you get the bonus because i made the bonus rides and I was like, no, I didn't get the bonus. And so we went back and forth through the comments and then also through our own emails. And it came to uh, light that um, it turns out Lyft made a mistake. Um, Robert was follow followed up with Lyft. Lyft made a mistake and we're supposedly going to be getting our bonus. Um, so that's in the works. So thanks a lot, Robert, for, man, coming through and being, um, you know, doing the thing, you know, because that's, could so easily just be kind of blown off or whatever in some ways I feel like but you followed up on it we followed up on it and it seems to be working out so that's pretty awesome I haven't as I said I haven't got the bonus yet for the referral driver bonus but Lyft did send me an email saying they're gonna send it to me so stoked Justin Riddle 83 I don't think you've commented before but you did last week so thanks a lot for commenting and I just want to remind you all so these are the new, com everybody that comments, if you've been commenting for a while, all that kind of stuff, this, that's my oxygen, that makes it, really helps me keep going. Um, I love making these videos, I love making videos in general, it just so happens I'd be a, I'm doing this rideshare thing, so I figured, hey, I might as well make videos about my rideshare experience, and maybe it would be helpful to other people, and it looks like it has been, I mean, and then of course there's people that have different opinions and different ideas. No matter what it is, if you think I'm crazy, I'd love to hear about it. If you think I'm helpful and I'm helping you, I'd love to hear about it. Because those comments, no matter what they are, they're my oxygen. They help me keep going. They definitely make it happen for me. So comment, comment, comment down in the comments. All right, so let's get on with it. And thanks to all the subscribers. Like I said, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a little um, you know, 500 subscriber giveaway. I think I'll do like a $100 like Visa gift card thing. So it can be used for whatever because... I have people on this channel that are rideshare drivers like you who maybe want to buy gas or whatever for your car or something. Um, but then I do other videos about music and different things like that. So um, when that time comes, I'm pointing down for no reason at all. Um, when that time comes, um, be sure to keep, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what, how to, how, how that will all play out. So anyway, so keep those subscriptions coming and thank you all so much for subscribing. Um, you know, it's been, I've been stuck in this like four it's like 462 right now i've been stuck in this 450s for a long time uh because i lost a bunch of subscribers but gained a bunch at the same time so hey so how much i made let's do it this week is how much i made i made 835 dollars and 19 cents was deposited in my account and in my heads up display it says 847 dollars and 19 cents because i got um, 12 more dollars in cash tips this week and so, and my tip total came to $85, um, and I did 115 rides this week. Yeah, not a bad week. It was actually, it was a really good week in terms of, like, the way my strategy of driving and the what feels good. It was, like, really good. So let's get on to the daily breakdown. Um, as you see there, Friday was my record-setting day. So it says $288 in some sense right there, 35 cents, I guess. But um, so I got $7 in cash tips, so it was $295.35, and so almost broke $300, and I probably could have. My car was kind of acting funny. It felt, I was just starting to get tired, and my car was, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling confident being on the road, so I got off the road um, and just got home. But it was about 12 hours I made. I did the math on it um, that night, and it was like $25 an hour I made. And since these days, I spend 
100% of the time my app's on in the car, it really does play out as a per hour rate uh, more so than it could otherwise when I was first started. So $25, that's pretty good. I wish it was like that all the time. I did all right this week. Thursday, I only made a little over 100 because I only worked like seven hours or something because I had a event to go to my kid's school. Um, so that's just kind of played out. And um, yeah, I had it Tuesday. I'll try to work on Tuesday, but man, I just couldn't do it after last week and I needed a day off. So it's like, I'll talk more about that stuff in a moment about when I'm working and why I'm working when I'm working. Um, and that's that. And the last slide is the daily breakdown. So, or not daily, the hourly breakdown. So this is where I drove this week. So if you're curious where I find my rides, what times I find my rides, that's it right there. Tends to be morning six to 11 and then afternoons three till I finish up. Um, I've been doing like 10 rides or so in the morning and then 14 rides or so in the evening. And yeah, it's because I go bar 24 rides a day, um, which is part of the title of this. Um, star rating, let's get into our star rating. So as you know, last week, so here we'll start scrolling by. As you know, last week I um, dropped to my lowest rating. Right now it's at 4.88. Um, so it's up back to a 4.9 app rating, but last week was the worst week of I've ever had. I dropped to a 4.83. Um, rating I and I was hoping that maybe by this week um, somewhere in the scroll by is the review bulk reviews that we get and unfortunately there was nothing to tell me why I got a low rating in detail one person I got two flags one for safety one for cleanliness which you know it's kind of water water under the bridge because I also get I've gotten most of my kudos are for cleanliness and 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 um, Drive, driving um, as well. So I don't know. I wish the people that thought I was dirty and thought I was unsafe would say why. What was it? What happened in that moment that made them feel that way? Um, and I'd be happy to fix it. But since they didn't, I don't know what to fix because I feel like I always drive safe. I try to. I definitely don't want to drive unsafe. And then I also work hard at cleaning my car clean. I mean, I wash my car once a week vacuum and wash i go to a local car wash place and they have the wa you know wash and vacuum and it's usually good enough um to keep it decent till the next week i do it again because i it's just impossible driving i mean i don't know of a way to clean the car every day that really makes sustainable sense um because i spend so much time driving i don't you know anyways i suppose i could clean it every day but that just doesn't make sense to me. So, anyways, that's that. So let's talk about the. That's about it for that. Um, for both the ratings and the um, and the money. If you have any questions about how I do it, and you want more detail on any of that stuff, um, let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it. If you, whatever you might have, whatever thoughts you have about it, hit it up. Got my, I got my one K jacket on today. Just thought I'd sport it. Um, Hey, look, there's also this right here, which I'll talk about in a moment, um, which is what I'm up to now. So the holiday party, I'm going to put up some pictures. They'll probably scroll by really slowly. I only have like three pictures I just took of the party. We, they, The local Lyft people did, um, did put together this party in uh, Liberty Station. It's a, it's a big like park and business area in San Diego. And they um, just, it was just outdoor, as you can see in the pictures. It was an outdoor thing. Um, they got us tacos and they got us some stuff. We got I got this pint glass that says lift on it. Um, and then inside of here is a raffle ticket that I don't know if I won or not because I left before they drew the raffle. But um, so that was that. I don't know what was available at the raffle. If you are a San Diego driver and you went to the party thing and you saw what the raffle prizes were, um, comment, let us know <laughs> just to see. It would be nice to know. We also it was like a gas card or something. Don't you think that would be awesome? I think that would be pretty awesome. Um, something that was actually like helps us do the job more. Um, but other than that, so the party itself was fine. It was chill. It was just like um, I don't you know it's awkward not knowing anybody and not wanting to be like super vivacious about going up to everybody. And I said hi to a few people and said hey I'm Alex. You know shook hands and people I was in line with or just standing next to in general, but. 
you know, one of my, I talked to my passengers about it before I went and they were like, that must be weird to not know everybody because most holiday parties with your work is, you know, everybody already. So, but, um, since we're drivers, we don't really know each other. It, um, it's kind of awkward. So, and it, they did, they did the best they could to break the ice and just, it's interesting. I don't know. For me, I find it very interesting looking at the demographic of people that drive for Lyft and do this rideshare thing, but also, um, you know, I'm sure the demographic of people that would also go to an event like this versus, so there's the, there's the, the body of people that drive for Lyft, then how many of those people would go to an event like this? Some, I, I feel like a lot of us drivers, um, just don't even care to ever acknowledge that there's a big, even the, even Lyft itself or whatever, they just, they, we're very much like, I feel like there's a big contingent of drivers that are just like, I've signed up, I'm driving, and I don't really care about anything else going on about the world of rideshare driving, about anything going, they just do their thing and just, you know, it works. There's, there's no deeper kind of in, in, inquiry into the world of rideshare driving, be their fellow drivers, the businesses, just what it's like for the just society in general. Unlike me, who really gets nerdy about it, obviously I'm making these videos on it. So, um, so it's just interesting to see who showed up, what we all look like, and different kind of things like that. Um, they did do this one thing. Um, it's probably I'll probably put this picture up and hold it there if, if it's not there already. Um, is they ask you what are you driving towards? So like Lyft has been doing some stuff lately with um, on the app and different things where they've been pairing up with like this education program. Um, the guild, I think it's called, I don't know. But anyways, they're trying to like do more, they're doing something with trying to help us drivers maybe realize our dreams or something or realize more than just be being drivers, which is kind of cool. It'd be interesting, I haven't really gone deep into it, but they did have this up, um, this, this big piece of paper up and said, what are you driving toward? You know, whether it's paying off debt, whether it's doing different things, I don't know, variety of things. And for me, I just put, I put, um, to play Glastonbury, which if you watch any of the other videos on this channel, you'll see my videos about um, the Glastonbury, Road to Glastonbury Journal, which I have. It's a, it's a music festival in England, and I'm a musician, as I said at the top, and that's like one of my goals is to maybe one day play Glastonbury, and so I put that on there, so as you can see there. So that's what that's all about. So anyways, if you have any questions more for me about my um, experience with the holiday party, feel free to hit me up at, and see if I fill in any more details. It was pretty chill, just the bottom line. It was pretty chill. So let's get into my topic, my main topic of today, which is my 24 ride strategy topic. And basically, I'm titling it 24 ride strategy. And basically, it's more about using ride count as your strategy rather than money or time as your strategy is what it boils down to. So for me, what's well, been working in San Diego, and I realized... You know, I've been realizing more and more that I I hope that what I the my experience can help you with with learning and and kind of achieving success with this job. Um, however, depending on where you are, you could be anywhere in the country, and there's so many different factors about where you live. If you can start in your own area, just how dense your city is, how much demand your city is, just all these different things that play into the rideshare and specifically Lyft rideshare driving, um, that it's, it's hard to tell. But so in San Diego, this has been working for me, and I'm, and I think there's elements to it that could possibly help you if you're if you want to change things up or want to look at it a different way. And really, it boils down to just focusing on ride count over how much you're making or how long you've been driving because if you focus for me focusing on ride count has been able to take away those other two things so I'm just it it takes away the fatigue in the car in a way because I'm not thinking about how long I've been in there I just look for the ride I'm just like when I get the next ride I'm like I got one more ride toward my goal of the day rather than going oh it's taken me a half hour to get a request or whatever it may have been so it's just like and then the money part too for full-time driver I think this definitely makes more sense for full-time drivers versus just weekend drivers but there is a ride count i think there's a ride count strategy as well for weekends um, that could be used as well but what i'm doing is more of a full-time thing because it's it definitely it's the um average that you're playing on so like you i drive five at least five days a week and i found my average for doing 24 rides a day um in the hours that i work is i get around 150 bucks so it's like 
I'm guaranteed in a way to make at least 100, 750 bucks at the end of the week if I work five days, which isn't crazy awesome, but it's not terrible totally. And I've been usually been making around eight. You know, it's usually a little bit more, but that 150 number is a pretty good place to to kind of to know so I don't get disappointed if I make less or that 750 and the 150. Um, so that's kind of part of the, the strategy is going, okay, so getting um, $750 a week on, for five days is kind of the average that, you know, the easy average. So what I'm going to start doing for myself is um, since I'm really, I've decided this um, year, this next year, I'm really going to tackle that debt and get it taken care of. So one thing that I've done um, over the last few weeks is I signed up for a couple of credit cards that have zero APR. So I'll be transferring my debt to those credit cards um, and then I'll just be paying principal and hopefully pay it off by the end of the year. And I was like looking for ways to make more money. So my strategy from here on out, since I know I have I know I could, it's like basically a minimum of $150 a day over the span of my week of working when I do 24 rides a day, I will be going, I'm going to add in a sixth day so that my minimum, hopefully that I'll be making per week is $900 per week. Is that right? Yeah, seven. Yeah, $900 per week, which will go a long way to help me get that debt gone. Of course, for me personally, I have to watch um, burnout. And um, so like last week I tried to, work on Tuesday, I was like, kind of, I just decided to start right away. I was like, I'm going to start this right away. And I was like, I'm going to work Tuesday, take off Sunday. And unfortunately, I just couldn't work on Tuesday. By the time Tuesday came around, I was like, I was like out of it. Just, it just wasn't working for me. I just needed a day off. So I took Tuesday off completely and got back on it on Wednesday and had the rest of my week. So basically, I'm going to stay with my strategy of five days a week, 24 rides a day, um, and make that my baseline, and then when I can, when I feel it good, I'll add in that that sixth day, and hopefully I can do it as often as possible. But I just I don't want to burn myself out. It's the biggest thing because I have to watch that for it. But at least you know I'm not going to be paying money toward anything extra except that debt. So the debt will go down um, now using my strategy, using what what I want to want to do that way. So the other, another part about this 24 ride strategy is um, it's, you know, there's this element of um, the weekdays, it's definitely harder to get those 24 rides than the weekend. For me, the reason I even, I stick with the 24 rides for the most part, even on the weekends, is it gives me the break. It gives me, okay, I finished my 24 rides faster than I do on the weekdays. So whenever I hit the 20, so it's, for me, it's like the danger is, I have a harder time stopping than starting. So for me, the danger is to burn out again, like I was saying, worrying about burnout. So if I force myself to stop after 24 rides, then I get more rest so I can continue doing my 24 rides the next day. And it's just a part of the element, even though the weekends are, are easier to get it and I could work longer and, you, and there's one argument you should, I should work longer. Maybe I should do like a um, 20 rides or anything, but I just like, I don't know. There's the way my mind works, the way it, and the way that it makes me feel good is just knowing I'll get my rides. And the other hard, the other hard part that I've experienced is this is a lot. I think would be potentially a lot harder to do if I didn't have the ride, the rental car bonus thing to worry about. Because I've also noticed, like last week, I only did 115 rides, which is five rides short of the 24 rides per day. Um, be, you know, and part of it was because I accomplished my goals and before um i hit 24 rides a day and and i was fine with it i got all my ride count done for the rental program and i got the money i wanted to make for the for the week which was over 800 dollars. so that'll play a factor too so kind of like for paying off that debt and my goal for the weeks is like it's kind of a it also kind of you can kind of there's a secondary level to it of saying uh, if i at least make 150 dollars 24 rides you know, that kind of thing, you know, that there's, there's elements, there's factors involved. And then of course, if it is good on a weekend, if it feels like it's rolling, then maybe staying out, you know, it just, eh, it's kind of an in the moment decision making process as well. But the, 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 having the framework of the 24 ads per day really helps me 
have a goal and have a focus on what I'm doing. So basically, if you break down your area and maybe just try it for a week or two and go, I'm going to go for X amount of rides per day and just do that and see how it plays out. Maybe that'll help you in your area with your job and making the money that you want to make. And what I said earlier about, I think there's a strategy around the weekends as well. You know, I would almost, if you only worked on the weekends, especially like in San Diego, and not looking so much at money or time, and you, if you want to do the ride count strategy, I would do like 30, say, I'm going to get 30 rides Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, you know, and do it something like that. So anyways, that's my thoughts on the, the ride the ride ride count strategy, what I'm calling my 24 ride strategy. Um, so check it out, see if it works for you. I'd love it if you did. And of course, I'd love to hear your comments. Of course, if you wanna become a ride share driver, use my referral code ZIM200 if you found this video because you're looking to be a uh, driver, check it out, ZIM200. Right now, the, I'm guessing um, Lyft doesn't really need many drivers or think they need drivers because the referral bonus is pretty low. I imagine it'll go up um, start when the summer kind of comes around again. So hopefully it will. Um, but if you want to, if you're just ready to start driving right now, you'll get a little bonus anyways, depending on where you are. I mean, your area may be a big bonus. It's just the varies depending on the area. And also if you're digging all my story as a rideshare driver and you want to continue being a part of it, there, I have an Instagram page, um, rideshare Zim on Instagram. Check it out. And, um, I post something pretty much every day about my rideshare experience, so check that out. Um, and I'd love to interact with you over there. And plus, um, that'd be a great place to direct message me. I've left my email in these comments, and I guess there's a way to direct message on Facebook as well. Or not Facebook, on um, YouTube as well, which I've missed before. <laughs> so if you direct message me on, on YouTube, um, and I've missed it, I found them all, so I've replied to all of them, but sorry. I didn't realize, I didn't see, they, I didn't get notified the same way that I expected to. So anyways, that's it for this week. I'd love to hear from you again. Remember, your comments are my oxygen, so please comment on this video regardless of what it is. Just want to say hi, if you want to put some input on your experience as a driver, whether it be agreeing or disagreeing with me, I'd love to hear about it because that's what it's all about for me. And then, of course, remember to be good to each other. Peace.